guys, it's Aaron Bucken, your multi-sport coach. Today I've got a great exercise. So this is part of my series, Shoulder Rehab Number Four. So this is a, a progression throughout the series um, that's a really great exercise. We're starting to build some more strength in those rotator cuffs now. So, um, so what you will need is a weight. I'm using today a curly bar. You don't need a curly bar, but you can use either a straight bar, something that is gonna be um, it's more specific for your weight. I would probably recommend a five kilo, I think I've got here today about 10 or 12 kilos. So um, I need you to have the length in the bar, right? The length in the bar because I'm what we're gonna be doing is pressing up. And the idea of this exercise, as you're pressing up, right, your hand grip is squeezing that bar so your rotator cuffs are being activated. And as you're twisting, okay, you're twisting that hand position um, which are activating their rotator cuffs in all different positions as you push up and down. So it's not like a normal shoulder press because you've got that bar, you've got the weight either end, all right? It's adding stability to the shoulder, okay? So, so this is what it's gonna look like, just from here, nice and tall, core engaged, long spine. You whack your hand on your hip to keep the pelvis nice and straight. And you're just pushing up and turning that bar. Take a little step back so you can see me, breathe in just to here, just comes down the front of your face. And exhale, pushing up, rotating, and then coming back down. Exhale, pushing up, so you're adding that rotation. It's gonna really activate that stability in that shoulder joint. So the idea rep range you wanna be going for this is around 15 to 20 with a really slow tempo. Three, two, one. So four, one, two, three, Four and four down. Four, three, two, one. Good. Three, four, good. Four, two, one. Make sure the weight is nice and suited to your strength. It's not too heavy. You don't want to be fatiguing too early, arching your back or anything like that. Now I reckon that's about eight or nine. So we're going to go six more. Five, nice and slow down. Three. Add that rotation, squeeze the hand tight. Two, and one more. Okay, good. So that's my shoulder press with the rotation. Okay, it's as simple as that. As I said, so make sure you're squeezing your hand tight. You're adding that rotation. It's gonna add a really great strength to your rotator cuffs. Train it in all different positions as well. So the shoulder position has 18,000 like, different positions, right? So the more different positions that we can train it in, the more um, it's less perceptible like we're gonna be to an injury, etc. Thanks for watching guys, I can help you. Check out my website, aaronbucken.com.